They say know your enemy, but how much do you actually know about the coronavirus? Hello, I'm Dr. Zania Stamrataki from the University of Birmingham. Um, I'm a viral immunologist and my interest is in how the body fights viral infections. Can I start with something really basic? I mean, what is a virus? It is actually a small piece of genetic material um, that has got um, an envelope around it that allows it to stick to cells um, of a host that it is planning to infect. Viruses do not deliberately want to cause harm. Um, they don't want to do anything. They're just pieces of, um, of chemistry, really. Why are we so frightened of the coronavirus? I think as viruses come, this particular virus is not the deadliest we've come across. Uh, it's not actually even the most dangerous that we've come across but it has spread so rapidly through the population and it's new for us as well. So we don't know what to expect. So why is this so successful as a virus? Um, it transmits through droplets. So um, any coughs or sneezes can deposit it onto surfaces. Also, it's very successful because it doesn't kill its host very quickly. So it goes through most of humanity without causing huge problems. If there was a deadly viral virus like Ebola, for example, that kills most of these hosts, it would be contained very, very quickly and the infection would be squashed. How do you think this is going to play out? What do you think might happen? I think it is very good news that for as long as we had this virus going around humanity, we haven't had good evidence of reinfection. And that's good news. Yes, that is very good news for two reasons. First of all, because we can, after recovery, we could go back to work um, and we can feel safe. Um, and the other good news for this is, is that it is likely that vaccines are going to be working really well in, in generating protective immunity. This is a sneaky, frightening virus, but scientists are optimistic that as we learn more about it, we will beat it.